Get ready to match the stars. Pat Harrington, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, <laughs> Joanne Flew, Richard Dawson, and Betty White as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 73. And now here's the host of Match Game 73, Gene Rayburn. Hello there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Johnny Olson. I thank you one and all for joining us here in person and for those of you at home who are... How kind of you to come to the party. We are going to have a party, aren't we? Yes, we are. Bye, okay. George. As soon as the show's over, honey. By Jove, he has got it. Let's say hello to our two players, Nancy Cox and Sonny Coleman. Hello, ladies. Our current champion is Sonny Coleman. She has $3,800 to her credit, and she's won three games. Nancy is challenging her. We've completed... One round, and uh, Nancy has scored twice in round one, when we've got all of round two, our final round to go, and, and you must score two matches, or maybe more, who knows, to stay in the running here. We'll find out how it goes right after we find out about these messages. Okay, here we go with round two, ladies, and uh, Nancy, would you make a selection, please? B, please. Nancy wants B. Last time out, you match two of our celebrities, Betty and Pat, so the, those two will not participate. The others will, and this is it. Max is so tough, he can strike a match on his blank. <laughs> Max I tough. touch that with a 10-foot pole. You're out of it. Oh, out of it. Oh, very fortunate. <laughs> Max is so tough, he can strike a match on his blank. What do you say, Nancy? Max is so tough, he can strike a match on his... Thigh. Thigh. She says thigh. Thigh is what she said, and that's as plain as she can do. Uh, well, to you, sure. Marvin, She's like allergic that. to thigh. She's a <laughs> what do you say, Brett? If you had a cold, you should have stayed home, Joanne. You shouldn't no, come we're spread happy your to germs around you. Don't right. bug her. Yeah. She's very... Elizabeth. Thigh. Uh, uh, she's very genteel. I said thigh, but I just uh, uh, made, uh, chose a different... Well, I said butt, actually. But. <laughs> butt and thigh. Yeah, it's the same thing, dear. They're in the same spot. Well, no, 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 there were no, no show and tell here. Rare. Rare, Charles. <laughs> There's been a lot of rare. comments on my decorative art cards. I do have a... a a, yes, you are shop. very artistically inclined. at the inclined. farmer's market. Right. Now, let's see. We've got to come to Joanne Flew. Thigh is her answer. And thigh it is. Thigh is what you get. Thank you, Joanne. Joanne. Right. What do we got from Richard Dawson? So tough he could strike a match on his face. On his face. That was some tough face. What do you say? What is so tough? I just don't write, so I didn't. Oh, you didn't write. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you really obey orders. Have you ever been in the army? <laughs> really losing your grip on the show, eh, Gene? Okay. Now, Sonny, you must score three matches to stay in the running. Four, however, will win the game. Listen carefully. Everyone will participate. Irving said, I didn't fill my waterbed with water. I filled it with blank. <laughs> Irving said that. I didn't fill my waterbed with water. I filled it with... Blank. All right. Charles was ready. Oh. Betty, Richard, Joanne. Everybody's ready. Now, Sonny, you've been thinking very carefully. What answer have you come up with that would match our celebrities? Irving said I didn't fill my waterbed with water. I filled it with... Air? Air. She says air is her answer. Pat, what did you say? Well, the only thing that I could think of that would make a waterbed really act like a waterbed without water would be to fill it with squirrels. <laughs> don't, don't, don't! Tear it up. There, there, there it is. Tear it up. Get I thought you were going to get my spelling. <laughs> no I've got muscles tearing yeah. up his answers this way. I didn't fill my waterbed with water. I filled it with... Gin! Gin! <laughs> Okay, Charles. Booze. Booze. 
Now, Sonny, you must match the remaining three celebrities to stay in the game. The first Miss Nancy will be the winner. What do you say? Booze. Booze! So, Nancy Cox is our winner. Would you step around, please, Nancy? Now, well, let's see. We've... What did you have there? Andy Freeze, and yours was booze. Okay. Would you stand right here for a moment? You've got the $100 now. You're our new champion. And we've got to say goodbye to Sonny Coleman. She's going to leave with $3,800. Yeah. And our best wishes. Yeah. Thank you, Sonny. Bye. Bye-bye, Sonny. Bye. Goodbye, Sonny. Sonny was a very pretty lady. Yeah. Wasn't Love she Sonny a pretty charming going. lady? <laughs> Why are you go. sweating? What's that? Why are you sweating? Well, it's very warm up here. It's, it's, it's getting warmer by the minute. She also matches the set. That's it's right. The same color. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Boy, I'll say you are. Let <laughs> me step downstage If you were younger, so here. could you be. Now, we uh, polled a recent studio audience. <laughs> and so you won. Polled a whole audience. So we had this big poll, and we, no. <laughs> we polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank bath. And the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you, Nancy, if you match it. The second most frequent response, $250. And the third, $100. Now, you can get a little help here from three celebrities. Which ones do you choose? One at a time, please. Betty. <clears throat> Blank bath. Steam bath. Steam bath. All right, there's one. One That's more now. One. Two more. Pat. Pat Harrington. Quite similar. I have hot. Hot bath. Okay. You need one more answer from them. Joanne. Bubble. Bubble bath. You turned into the popular thing. Okay, stage, you've Charles. got steam bath, bubble bath, and hot bath. Now, you may choose one of those or give us one of your own if you like, but we need an answer now. Bubble bath. Bubble bath. You're going with the. You're letting the audience influence you, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That's what she's looking for—a bubble bath. And I guess she's about ready for it. So. It's funny. Just jump right in anywhere. We're looking for bubble bath. May we see the $100 response, if you please? Bird right. bath is a good answer. But who would think a bird at an occasion like this? There. We're looking for bubble bath, maybe see the $250 response. Steam bath is the answer. <laughs> That's where Betty spends her time. <laughs> That's your answer. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Nancy, here's your third and last chance to get a bubble bath. <laughs> the $500 response. Congratulations to you, my dear. <clears throat> so you've got the five. Just stay right up here with me, don't you? <laughs> you've got the five hundred dollars. That means you'll play for ten times that amount now, or five thousand dollars. But to collect that, you must match one celebrity, and it must be an exact match. Five thousand dollars. Okay. Now choose a celebrity, if you would, please. Joanne. All right, Joanne. You get ready. Right. You face me, Nancy. And here is the $5,000 question. Instant blank. Instant blank. Okay, Joanne has finished her answer, and now we call for your response, Nancy. Instant... Coffee. Instant coffee. I think that's pretty good. Let's see if it's going to be a winner for $5,000. Joanne, your answer, please. Instant potato. Instant potato. Oh, instant potato. I told you not to choose her. No. I'm sorry. No longer a popular favorite. Anyway. She's too right. pretty to have any brains. You're, you've, got the, you've got the $600. You're going to meet another player. But first, we've got to have a little meeting with the sponsor here. Here it is. Now, what do you say we welcome a new player and say hello to Richard Volzing? Hi, Richard. That's Richard Volzing. Okay. Where are you from, Richard? I'm from Redondo Beach. 
And what do you do? I uh, work at Los Angeles International Airport for a California Airlines. And are you married? Ah, uh, yes, uh, just three months to a beautiful stewardess. And is she here? Yes, she is. Rooting for you? Where is she? She's uh, somewhere in there. Good-looking blonde there. The good-looking, find a good-looking blonde somewhere in the studio audience. Right you have there. jacket on. Just wave your uh, back. Oh, right tickets. here in the first row. Wave your wedding ring. Ah, <laughs> there it is. Okay. Well, good luck to you, Richard. You know that you and Nancy will be answering questions, trying to match our six celebrities. The one who does that most often at the end of the second round will be the winner, and we'll have a go at the big money of $5,000. The challenger makes a selection. Would you do that, please? B. B is what he wants, and every one of you will play. You will play. You know it, sweetheart. No. <laughs> Noah's wife said, Noah, you better get some new glasses. That wasn't me you kissed, that was your blank. <laughs> uh, <this> is... <laughs> <laughs> write an answer, if you would, please, Mrs. Ludden. Yes, yes, I will. I really will. Okay. That wasn't me you kissed, that was your blank. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're ready. I'm not ready. Richard. Noah's wife said, Noah, you better get some new glasses. That wasn't me you kissed. That was your... Elephant. <laughs> uh, Richard Dawson does the Paul Lind imitation. No, let, let him do Paul, and I'll go out with his wife. Okay. All right. All right. He's an elephant. What yeah. do you say? Well, it's kind of close to that. Yeah. Hippo. Hippo. <laughs> What do you say? I didn't say elephant. What? I didn't say elephant. I said ark. Ark. Kiss my ark. Kiss my ark. I'm leaving Charles would behind. You, uh, would you? <laughs> would you no, I don't do. Dignity. I don't do imitations. I'm from the legitimate theatre. I can walk to. Kiss my ostrich. Yes. Kiss my ostrich. How do you do that when it's heads in the ground? Joanne. <laughs> I, I think the answer is do the best you can. Right. Let's move on, Hardy. Elephant is his answer. Joanne, what's yours? Oh, I was really way off. I said son. Your son. Son. Yeah. No, we're kissing. Uh, a long time. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know well, they did a fluke. But they were on the boat a You're long time. Credit you know to how. your race. Yeah, right. <laughs> what did you say? Which is what? Yeah, that's not me. You kiss. That's your bear. That's your bear. I'm <laughs> sick about it. <laughs> Where do all game show performers go when they get thrown out of work? My place. Kiss your ass. Kiss your ass. All right, Betty. So that's one match, and now let's see how we do with Nancy's end of this round. I'd like Ma to see how you do with Mary this. Mary Beth. <laughs> so would Jean like to see how Now, then, listen Nancy's to me now. Uh, round, Mary Beth round. said to her cowboy husband, don't you think just once you could come to bed without your blank? <laughs> Mary Beth is speaking to her cowboy husband and said, don't you think just once you could come to bed without your blank? Hold on. Everybody ready over there? So, Nancy, think about this. Second tier is Mary ready. Beth said to her cowboy husband, don't you think you just once you could come to bed without your... Horse. Without your horse. <laughs> come to bed without your horse. Come to bed Let's without see. your horse? That's what she said. <laughs> That's the funniest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Okay, Brett, one match for over there. What do you say? Well, being married to Jack Klugman, I could have said slovenliness, but I didn't because it's a cowboy. I said horse. Horse? Hey! There's another one for horse. you. Okay, Charles. I was going to put spurs because that would have been a lot of fun, but I went with horse. You went with horse. So you've matched the top tier completely. Let's see how you do down here with Joanne. Well, we have an eight-month-old Great Dane who's always creeping into bed. Why don't you try for baby? <laughs> To be rose. <laughs> yes. Was it delivery Horse. hard? Horse it is. Now, let's see if the magic spell will be broken by Richard Dawson. Are you still feeding your husband Alpo? <laughs> Spurs, of course. Spurs. 
What do you say? If you make those jingle jangle one more time, sir. Right, sir. Sirs, okay. So, you did well with that. At the end of round one, it's four to one in favor of the current champ. We'll start round two right after we get through with a little business here. Four to one here. The champ is ahead. Let's go to round two and see how it turns out. Richard? I'll try B again. B, now you've got to match three celebrities to stay in the running here. Elsie the cow said to her girlfriend, Have you noticed Farmer Brown's hands are very blank? <laughs> You, uh, Betty's the only one who's not participating because you matched on the first round. Elsie the cow said to her girlfriend, have you noticed Farmer Brown's hands are very blank? <coughs> it's getting worse, Charlie. Okay. Now we'll go over here and get a response from Richard. What did you say? Have you noticed Farmer Brown's hands are... How many choices do I get? Are... <laughs> uh, are very... Calloused. Calloused. Callous is his answer. He has a rare desire not to win, I believe. <laughs> Callous is his answer, and we call on Pat Harris. Gee, I was almost going to say that, but I said rough. How about rough and callous? Is that a match? That is a match. There it is. Scored once there. You need two more to stay in the game. Brett? How about rough and hairy? Rough and hairy. I'll have wait. to wait for a decision on that. Yes. Rough and hairy matches callous. Okay, another rough one. Rough one. So the score is tied. And we come down here to Joanne. Well, I think there's something worse oh, than rough would be again. cold. Cold. That's what the audience thought, too, apparently. How about you, Richard? El Coldo. El Coldo. So at this moment, the score is tied, and we go to Nancy's end of the round. You must score once. All you have to do is score once, and you will win another game. Here we go. The Lone Ranger said... Do I not write? Oh, wait, I'll tell you who does not. Just Betty and Look Richard write. These two are the only ones playing you right down here. Business, Richard and kid. Betty. Everybody else lay out, if you please. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. The Lone Ranger said, Not many people know that Tonto and I are blank. <laughs> the Lone Ranger said... Not many people know that Tonto and I are blank. I could answer that if you'd let me. Not yet. Okay. So those two are finished, and now we'll call on Nancy for her answer. The Lone Ranger said, not many people know that Tonto and I are... <laughs> Lovers. <laughs> You expect this group of dignified Shakespearean actors and actresses to I am to shocked. Yes. Let's find out. One will win the game. One lover will win the game. What do you say? I could not put anything as crude as that. They are, however, married. That doesn't match. No. They could they could be married without being lovers, well, so they can't match lovers. that. Yes, it's right, the arrangement Jack lovers and I have. Well, they can't be <laughs> lovers and be what I have because it would be arson. I think they're, I said brothers. They're brothers. <laughs> so this game ends in a tie. And what we do to break the tie is wipe the slate clean, and we go to a tiebreaker. I push this magic button, and all of a sudden it says tie, you see? <laughs> now we have one question here for each of you. The one who comes up with the most number of matches will be the winner. Make a selection, Richard. B, please. He wants B. Everyone plays. After the party, Mary found John blanking on the sidewalk. <laughs> After the party. We're running close to the end, so if you'll do it as quickly as possible, we'd appreciate it. After the party, Mary found John blanking on the sidewalk. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. All right, Richard, what do you say to that? After the party, Mary found John blanking on the sidewalk. Throwing up. Paul, oh, I love you for that answer. What do you say, Pat? Oh, I, he's not, he, this is probably what he did afterwards. He's sleeping. Sleeping on the sidewalk, throwing well, up. Yeah, you're as crazy as a coot. He was throwing up. Throwing up. 
There's one there. Sleeping, I'm sorry. Sleeping from Charles Nelson Riley. What do we get from... Sleeping. Sleeping from Joanne. Sleeping. Sleeping from Richard. Dancing from... Dancing from... <laughs> well, really. Yeah, I won. We don't have time to finish this round, do we? No, we don't. Okay, we'll get right back to you but, and talk to you, but first we got to talk to you about this. Well, our time is up for today, and uh, we're going to have to meet next time and break this tie. I hate to leave you hanging there that way, but folks, that's the way it is. He has scored once in his end of the round, and it'll be up to you to see what happens. Listen, you were just super, and I am in... Thank deeply you, in darling. debt to each and every one of you. Thank you, Give us cash. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must, uh, uh, Owen Marshall, right? Owen Marshall, on the DA on Owen Marshall, right. And Gertrude Lost there on the new Perry Mason. Yeah. And what... Uh, just... I'm on everything. He's on everything. <laughs> okay. Next time our paths cross, and we do hope you'll join us, we're going to have for you this beautiful galaxy of stars. Bert Convey. <laughs> Red Summer. Jack Carter, Fanny Fly, Richard Dawson, and Ann Elder. Well, those are the people we're going to have on next time, so please join us for sure. Bye. Lingo, America's most addictive word game is back for its fifth smash hit season. It's time to embrace the chuckness. Isn't it about time you did? Four out of five doctors agree. You should embrace the chuckness at least once a day. Embrace an all-new season of Lingo. All new words, all new challenges. And you can even embrace the chuck online by playing along at home on gsn.com. Embrace my chuckness. Whatever the heck that means. <laughs> the all-new season of Lingo premieres Monday, April 3rd at 7.30, 6.30 Central, only on GSN.